butterfly kisses and wishes on wings. When someone you love has cancer, a hopeful, helpful book for kids. Written by Ellen McVicker and illustrated by Nancy Hirsch. The other day, my mom went to the doctor. She didn't even look sick, but she said she had to go anyway. I remember when she came home, she looked worried and sad. Later, my mom said that she needed to tell me something really important. She wanted to tell me why she went to see the doctor. But when she started to tell me, she looked worried and sad all over again. Now I know why. The doctor said my mom has cancer. I wasn't sure what cancer was, so I asked my mom, what is cancer? She said it isn't like a cold or a cough or even the chicken pox. She said it's hard to explain. I asked her to try anyway. Mom said that everyone's body is made up of millions and billions of tiny cells. So tiny you need a microscope to see them. Cancer happens when some of the good cells in your body change to bad cells. No one knows why they change, they just do. It's kind of like they get sick. Before you know it, more and more of the bad cancer cells are in your body, and they're stopping the good cells from doing the job they're supposed to do. Doctors who know all about this stuff can help people get rid of the bad cancer cells, and there are lots of different ways they can do it. Some people may go to the hospital for an operation where the doctor tries to take out all the cancer cells. Some people may need something called radiation. Mom said that radiation is this beam of light that the doctor uses to kill the bad cancer cells. It's kind of like my toy laser saw. And some people may need a special kind of medicine. The medicine can make them feel sick in their tummy and really, really tired. Mom said it can also make their hair fall out. Now that means they will be bald, but not forever, only until their hair grows back. We don't even care if my mom does get bald. The medicine would destroy the cancer cells, and that's just what we want. We're not sure what my mom needs yet. She said the doctor will help her decide. My mom has cancer. Oh, no. I wonder, if I hug and kiss my mom, will I get cancer too? Did I do anything to make her get cancer? When I asked my mom, she smiled and said, I didn't do anything to make her get sick, and that cancer is not contagious. That means I can't catch cancer from her or anyone else. She even gave me a pinky promise. 
Ah, mm. uh, so I can still take bites of her peanut butter and jelly sandwich and have a sip of her juice. We can even share an ice cream cone. Strawberry is our favorite. And when we cross the street, Mom can hold my hand just like always. Best of all, we can still cuddle and give lots of kisses. Butterfly kisses, Eskimo kisses, kisses on our cheeks. No matter what we do together or how many kisses we give each other, I won't catch her cancer. Mom said the doctor will do everything he can to help her get better. I know I can help too. I can't do anything to make her cancer go away, but I know I can do lots of other things. I can bring her a tissue or get her a glass of water, even if I spill a little. When she's resting, I can cover her toes with a blanket so she doesn't get chilly. I can feed Maisie, our cat, and even brush her. I can brush my own hair, too. Mom laughs because sometimes I use the same brush. <laughs> and getting dressed all by myself won't be so hard. So what if my clothes don't match? Mom says it would really help her if I don't pick on my brother. I know I can do that. I'll even play with them sometimes so Mom can take a little nap. But before she takes her nap, I'll read her one of our favorite books. If Grandma or Auntie calls and asks me to spend the night, Mom says I should go. It would give me a break, and everyone needs a break now and then. I'll also draw my mom a picture every day. My pictures always make her smile. And right now, Mom needs a bunch of smiles. Mom really loves it when I draw her butterflies. She says they remind her of our butterfly kisses. <laughs> and big hugs and kisses are what she needs most. Especially my butterfly kisses. My mom once told me that the wings of a butterfly are magical. If you watch a butterfly as it flutters its wings through the air... The butterfly will bring you good luck. Now more than ever, I need to be my mom's butterfly. Mom also says I might have lots of different feelings inside me. She says some kids get sad and feel lonely when someone they love has cancer. Some kids get mad. And then there are kids who worry a lot. I'm already worried. I worry and wonder if mom will ever be okay again. I hate that my mom has cancer. It scares me. Mom says it scares her too. At least we can be scared together. Mom told me it's important to share all my feelings and that it's okay to talk about her cancer. That's good because talking about things always makes me feel better inside. I know I can talk to my dad and share my feelings with my best friend. Maybe I can even call my cousins and talk to them. Usually I just talk to Maisie. She's the best listener. Mom says I can also talk to my teacher. 
she told me my teacher all about her cancer. Just in case I start thinking about it while I'm in school. My mom sure is smart, even as she's thought of everything. But for now, I just want to talk to my mom. I want to give her lots of hugs and butterfly kisses and tell her that I love her. What a wonderful book. Thank you for joining me on Storytime with Doug while I read Red Butterfly Kisses and Wishes on Wings. When someone you love has cancer, a hopeful, helpful book for kids. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I also hope if a little boy or girl out there is watching this video and maybe their mommy and daddy has cancer, remember... It's not your fault. You didn't do anything. Just be there for them and hope and pray that they will get better. And I really hope they do too. All right. Thank you for coming to Storytime with Dog. And I'll see you next time.